in two for one news. Ooh, submitted by JK Vacation. JK VK. JK VK. JK VK. A surrogate mom gave birth to two babies and discovered one of them is hers. Oh no. <laughs> How'd I have her? For those of you that don't know what surrogate is, it's when a woman is carrying someone else's child in her body. She's just renting out her womb. Oh, that means she been fucking. Oh! Here's the story. <laughs> That should be the rapper, like that should be his ghetto. Yeah. Brace, brace yourself, motherfucker. Brace yourself. That was good. That was good. You made a you made a funny. <laughs> you made a funny. Yeah. Brush your shoulders off, Gio. Skim bada bing boom boom. Yeah, so this couple. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so, this couple, the mother, the circuit mother, her name is Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, she's 31 years old. 31! Ha, 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 ha. Yes. So, after having two successful pregnancies, she, her and her husband were thinking, like, you know, we should give back to a struggling couple out there. You know, like, I, I'm down to, like to carry someone else's child. Or they were saying, like, yo, I need some money. Because I'm trying to go to Las Vegas. Let's do it. <laughs> well, they did discuss what they were going to do with the money. Uh, and so they were planning on buying a house with that money. Mm, How much Joe money was are right. we talking about? They get like 60 grand. Holy moly. This couple received 30,000. Okay. See it? Y'all got lowballed, son. Yeah, so 30,000 for this pregnancy. It's still a good amount, though. It's like a car. Yeah. Uh, for all the work the body goes through. Not down. Yeah, not so, you, no. Not for 30. So she, uh, so they ended up being matched with a Chinese couple. Always. And they paid her for the pregnancy, and and then when she, as soon as she, she said that her and her husband followed like all the procedures, right? Like everything that they had to do, and so once the doctor confirmed, like yes, you're pregnant, you're good to go, you can have sex with your husband now, but make sure to wear a condom, which they did. They ended up having sex, but then later on she discovered that she was pregnant with two kids. Two babies. So then the doctors wow. thought that what happened was that that single embryo split, split and then it would be identical twins. She's saying that the doctor that she went to through the agency never told her that the babies were in different sex, which is a clear sign that it's two separate babies, right? Eternal, mm. paternal twins. She needs a new doctor. Well, it was through the agency, so then that the surrogacy agency. There's new agency. Well, yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she needs a new one. Yeah. So, uh, she needs a new agent. Yeah, so then what happened here was that she ended up getting pregnant again when she was pregnant, which is called super vacation. Vacation? Super vacation? Super. <laughs> They're hella fertile, this couple. Because they already had two, right? And then through some more scrap, boom, boom, they got another one. Yeah. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. She could pop. And they wore condoms. Split, 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 split. Damn, she's getting cum from pre cum. Ooh. Yeah. Come, baby. So, oh my she, gosh, she got pregnant naturally, and then so anyway, so then she ends up giving birth back in December 2016, and in her contract, it it said that she was allowed to spend one hour with the twins, with just her and the babies, um, just to make sure like everything's okay or for whatever reason. But she was saying that it was fucked up because Mrs. Liu, which is the fake name that they're giving the Chinese couple that she just immediately took the babies home. Like, she didn't even get to see the kids at all. Are they all. gonna breastfeed and stuff? Wait, both babies? Yeah, because yeah, they, they thought, thought it was hers. Oh, they yeah. thought that, like, hey, surprise, you ended up getting two for the price of one. So then they upped her fee to 35,000. So she got an extra $5,000 for the second kid. So it's like, I already paid you for the kid, it's mine. Um, well, see, that's the thing. So at that moment, when the kids were born, she didn't see the kids. Then the next day, the mom did like a 10 minute visit to see how she was doing. And she ended up showing her a photo of the twins. And then that's when uh, the surrogate like mom, nothing alike. The surrogate mom was, she ended up mentioning like, oh, that's interesting. Like, they look different. And then the mom, the Mrs. Liu, she got all upset. She just took the device and she was like, she just got all weird about it, right? So then a few weeks later, Mrs. Liu sent her a text of the a photo of the twins again and saying like, do you know why like they might look different? Like, do you can you might see, can you see like why they they look different? How come one has blue eyes? And then um. <laughs> why is one albino? Oh no. Wait, what is the ethnicity of the Chinese? Okay, okay. What about yeah. the couple? Oh, the couple is, this is the couple. Because it might be hard to tell if they're both Asian. 
Yeah. Okay, well. Oh. Alright, All right. okay. <laughs> the one that's asking for the surrogate is an Asian couple. Yeah. Oh. Wait, so one of her kid, the one of the twins is uh, bl uh, black and white. So then later on, is the sperm the daddy sperm? Yes, let me tell you. <laughs> so then, it's her kid. <laughs> yeah. So then, like later on, they got a DNA test and they determined that this baby here is not biologically related to the Asian couple at all. No way. The Chinese yeah. couple. Wow. Wait, do we have the picture of no? They're we don't talk though. Anonymous. One thing that you guys should do, I'm pretty sure you guys are fantastic parents, but teach your kid how to smile, cause that's just crazy. That's not a parent's I fault. I have some adults that know, don't know how to smile. Oh, I do know one. That too. is not a parent's fault, cause I tried telling Isaac all the time. Sometimes he'd be like, "Wait, you said you don't know how to smile." Yeah, when I was a kid, all of my pictures, every single one was like this. <laughs> I pressed the fuck out of my lips, like a photo smile, you know, like. You can't control everything your kid does. Oh, yes, in my mind, that yes, smile was like a cartoon. It was going up like this, <laughs> like a like a happy face. But I pressed my lips thinking that it went up like this. How funny. This looks yeah. like he's so uncomfortable. And look at this one on oh, that terrell. Yeah, so these are the two kids that they already had. And this is the surprise baby. And so once, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, <laughs> shit. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, let me show you another picture of the baby. It's so cute. So they named him Malachi, but before I get there. Ooh, that's a cool name. After the DNA test, they found out like, okay, well they're not related. Then that's when um, the Chinese couple started demanding for the surrogate mom, like the couple, to pay them $22,000 if they want their kid back. <gasps> because uh, the Chinese couple were legally the kid's parents. Yeah. So like, they were like, hey, if you want to get your kid back, you have to pay us this what? amount. But then the parents it's are fucking saying, ransom. Yeah, so then uh, the, the surrogate couple, they're saying like, I don't really blame them because it seems like someone at the agency got it in their head that the surrogate mom was gonna sue the Chinese couple for whatever reason. Mm. So then that's when the Chinese couple got scared and they were like, okay, well then you gotta pay us this amount. It seemed like the agency from the mom, from the they surrogate were to cover mom's, up their own shit. yeah, from the surrogate. So the, she's not like shady ass Chinese bitch. The surrogate couple is trying to sue the the agency because yeah. they they're the ones that kind of fucked everything up because they didn't want to take any responsibility yeah. or like they're just like but then the agency is coming saying like no we provide everything that we can we did everything we could we gave them doctors and all this stuff they should sue the agency then yeah and so now the surrogate couple is like in debt um wait did they pay the 22 no oh. so it, but so the reason why they're in debt is because they got a lawyer to help them with all this oh. debt because they were still trying to get their kid. Because the couple, the Chinese couple would still not give them their kid because they 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 thought that they needed to get money in order for them to transfer the kid over. It was just like, just get back your five grand and shut the fuck up. Then yeah. the agency, or it seems like the agency got it in the Chinese couple's head like, hey, well, since you don't want anything to do with this kid, since this kid's not yours, and put, it, put the kid up for adoption. So oh then, my God. And then they set up adoptive parents, like prospective parents for this baby. I would oh, fucking yes. kill God. someone. Oh, I was like, what the f I would fucking kill. Yeah. At least the baby came back like, Ni hao, wo si <laughs> <laughs> And then, Malachi, shut the fuck up. Why are you speaking to me like that? Debuji, debuji. Debuji. Yeah. It was two months. <laughs> it was the first two months of this baby's life, he was with the Chinese couple. And like, it was sad because they were like, we don't want to do anything baby. with them. And like, they were about to adopt him. And like, that's why this couple was like, holy shit, we just bought a house. We don't have money. Like, everything that we have, we got to put into the lawyer to try to get their kid. Because they're like, it's our kid. Like, why yeah. do we have to pay to get our kid back? Why are the Chinese people even like, not that they're Chinese, I'm not even going to call them Chinese people, but why did the other parents, they're like, yeah, putting him up for adoption, even though we know they're legal parents, is a great idea. I know. That's why it seems that the agency fucked up here in many ways. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they should have stepped forward like, yo, we got a misdiagnosis. Uh, the doctor thought they were twins, but we fucked up and they actually aren't. So we'll sort it out. Like, they're the middleman. That's the whole yeah. point of having a program. And they wanted to just wipe their hands clean and yeah. be like, just adopt the kid and or try to get money back. I think or... the shitty thing about that is, uh, is the, the other, no, no, not the uh, surrogate parents, is that they treating this child as if it's not a person. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh, I don't want to deal with this problem. Let's just send it for adoption, you fucking fucks. Yeah. That's the irritating part. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, fuck everything else. It's like you're treating this child like it's a fucking, like a commodity. Yeah. You're just going to toss the fucking kid away, you fucking bastards. Yeah. I don't know. So it's pretty crazy.
But luckily everything is fine now, like Malachi is with his family. They're, the family's still in debt, so they're trying to figure out like how to get out of this. But at least they don't have to pay that 22000 that they were demanding. Of not. Were they cool with the Chinese family? Or did they fight with them? Because the, the way that the article is saying is that they they didn't see it their fault. I'm not sure like th throughout the whole pregnancy how it was. The surrogate mom does mention though, like it was in her contract that she was allowed one hour after the kids were born and, and the Chinese mother was like no no and yeah. they just took the kids so that part is kind of shady other than that though like she's the surrogate mother is just saying like it seemed like the agency got it in her head that she needed the money oh shit. I, uh, I would understand if i was a parent that was paying for the baby i don't know how else to word it the surrogacy or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um i i would also kind of be like no i want the kids to bond with me as soon as possible like i wouldn't want them to bond with the stranger as soon as they're born so from that perspective i would see it because uh the first like you know the first time they come out it's important the golden that the, hour right yeah it's important yeah that golden hour is important that they bond with the mom so. Yeah, but then I guess if she felt that way, she should have taken it out of the contract. Oh, maybe she didn't see it or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Contracts, monster cracks. I mean, yeah, I thought the go. contract would <laughs> kind of protect them in a way because this is like it was kind of sort of a violation. Or even then, like it was, it was a breach. An extra five thousand for like another kid that was more of a surprise to them when they're only expecting one. I think the real thing was she was like. You look like a stupid lady. I don't want my kid to be stupid. So get your stupid away from me. That's what was happening. She said. Yeah, that's what was really going on. I just don't like how they just treat that kid like it's. Yeah. No, I don't like. I think what what happens is that because she didn't go through the labor, she don't understand. She don't know how worth how how much work. Like you know, you you put more uh, value over uh, things that you pain over. And she yeah. It's like oh, I put a lot of work into this motherfucker, right? So like, imagine if. You just, a baby gets dropped off on your front door from a stork. That's true. You get two of them, you're like, I didn't want the other one. It's like a puppy. Yeah. Just mm. get that other one over there. Oh, no. Did this the all happened in California, Chinese? by the way. What? Did the other one look Chinese? Uh, yeah, the other one was biologically the, the Chinese couple's mm. son. I guess yeah. babies kind of all look alike when they come out, though. They do, they, they look really similar. No, yeah. she mentioned like, they look different because one was darker and the other they one was light skin. We saw my, we saw my nephews. They immediately look different. Yeah. They look way, they look way different. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you have a Chinese kid and then a half black, half white kid, for sure. I guess maybe. Yeah, like one, one, one kid's like fucking like six inches and the other one's like three feet long right? and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but does it make them brothers? No. Because they don't share any. They're not womb brothers. They're not Maybe paternal. Womb. Oh, yeah. no, they're fucking they womb brothers. Any DNA though, it's just the fact that they're womb brothers. Placenta brothers. Womb mates. Yeah, yeah. Womb, womb mates. mates. I like that. Hey. They're womb mates. <laughs> the fucking Chicanas are on it today, huh? I like it. <laughs> yeah, womb mates. What did you say? Brace yourself. <laughs> fucking shit. You guys are getting this.